Hey guys, welcome to my house. Okay, so in today's video, I wanna do something a little bit different and show you guys around my new house and neighborhood because I promised you I would in this video here. But I don't wanna do some standard old house tour where I show you guys what cups I have and why I have them. If we're being honest, I'll probably still show you my mugs because I actually love them. <laughs> but this is really a story for anyone that's going through a challenging time, which we all do at certain points in life. And it's very, very easy to like see the house tours and see the YouTube videos and see the nice things as you drive around and not really have any concept of what's going on inside someone's life. And whenever I see, like I live in LA, I live in Malibu now, and it, you see nice houses all around all the time. Whenever I see something that looks ideal on the outside, I always kind of ask myself, I wonder what's going on in that person's mind, in that person's life, in that person's brain. Because that to me is far more important. So I want to share with you a little bit about what's been going on in my life over the last few years because it's something that you don't really see on social media. By the way, for those of you who don't know, I actually have curly hair. And I always straighten it or do something to it, but today it's going to be wild. So you're going to have to deal with it. So I guess we'll start at the front. Funny story about this gate actually over here. When the first day we came to move in, it was actually during COVID, so there was no moving companies or anything like that to help us. We did the U-Haul thing for the first time ever, and me trying to drive a 20-foot U-Haul, I'm a pretty good driver if you haven't seen my previous channel. <laughs> but trying to drive a 20-foot U-Haul into this place, I completely beat this up, and the owner of this place, because we're leasing it, the owner of this place was, uh, was really cool about it, thankfully, but this is, this is my work. I'm sure many of you guys know, and if you don't know, my partner passed away who I had a previous channel with in 2015 from cancer and he was very young. Naturally, that changed a lot for me and I wanted to get offline for a little while and obviously deal with healing from that in my own way. It's not easy to lose someone that you love and it's certainly not easy to do it in front of a whole bunch of people on the internet with their own opinions and their own words. And many of you have shared so many amazing things about Rob and I want to thank you. I want to thank all the people that have said amazing things about Rob and continue to this day to share amazing messages about Rob and the impact that he had on your life and our previous channel had on your life. So thank you so much for that. So one of the best things about being out in Malibu is having space again. I was in a place closer to the city in LA before and we didn't have nature, we didn't have veggie gardens, which I'm gonna show you. This is gonna be really cool once it's built out. So if you come down here, we have all of this space that we're gonna make our own little veggie garden. So if the world falls apart as it may in 2020, we have food. And you might notice there is only two cars here and pretty much the most common question I'm asked is what car do you have? What car are you gonna get? Right now, you'll be surprised to learn but for the first time, I have zero cars because I made the decision to sell the G-Wagon because I'd had it for some time at the start of COVID. Then alas, we've been in quarantine. Not very smart to have a car. We literally don't leave this place. So when we're allowed out again, that'll change. But for now, just got Hunter and Ike's. Naturally, after going through that, I wanted to focus on getting to a good place personally again. And a big part of doing that uh, was actually horses. I have always had a love for horses and people say that animals are quite healing. And for me, that was getting back out into riding. I had horses, I owned horses and was a competitive show jumper. When that happened, I kind of stopped everything. I didn't really leave the house for a little while and I was just dealing with how to get through this. Losing someone I love was actually my biggest fear and I had to face it and I was young too and I didn't have all the tools in my tool belt now of how to really handle emotion. So I had to deal with that, I had to face it. And one of the things that got me out of the house and into life again was horses because I love them so much. They really got me through a really, really challenging part of my life because I started going to the barn, I started riding and in days where I didn't really feel any motivation to feel happy, there were little sparks and little moments of happiness. And then slowly but surely, the happiness came back to life and I was able to get to a place of just utter love and appreciation for the time that we did spend together. And I think that's a good place to be when we're dealing with any kind of loss or trying to move on from any type of situation, whatever it may be, specifically losing someone we love. It's a really good place to be to get to a spot where you just 
you smile every time you think about them and you just feel so much gratitude for the period of time that you were able to spend together. So I'm very grateful to say that I'm at that point in my life now. So when I left Florida, I thought that I was giving up riding, but when we saw this place, this barn is right at the entrance of our neighborhood and I literally cried. Hi buddy. And I think one of the hardest things to really understand when you lose somebody, especially someone that you're romantic with, is when is the right time to open yourself back up to love again? And when is the right time to quote unquote move on and start a new chapter of your life? And I don't think that there is any definitive answer to that ever. It's only what you feel and what stage of healing and processing you're at. I feel really, really grateful that through that, I met someone who was actually my horse trainer at the time and the trainer student relationship that we had for a good year allowed us to develop a really strong friendship, which eventually turned into something more. And we had a really great relationship for a number of years. You know, we were living a very horse oriented lifestyle together. We lived on a farm in Wellington, Florida, 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 Florida. <laughs> we lived on a farm in Wellington, Florida. And that chapter was particularly special and amazing. I'm also forever grateful to him for showing me how to love again after being so closed off after losing someone that I love very, very young. So I'm gonna take you down the side of the house first. And this is a little biohacking area, which Hunter behind the camera is very happy about. We got a sauna. <sighs> Moving right along, we have Hunter's collection of surfboards, which has made me very committed to learn to surf. You'd think being Australian that I would already know, but I don't. So that's on the list for this year. I was in this amazing relationship and I think this is something that a lot of people can relate to is that just because something is good doesn't mean it's something that has to be forever. And I wanted to tell you guys this story because I think it's something that a lot of people deal with being in a good relationship, but also feeling like there's something more for you out there and something that you want to experience. And like I said, I'm forever grateful to him for showing me what it felt like to love again and to be in that relationship and to share that part of my life with me. But I ultimately got to a really hard decision point where I just knew that there was more. And so I had to make the hard choice to leave good, to open up room for great. And that was very hard because I wasn't just leaving a relationship. I was also leaving behind that lifestyle. And this is one of my favorite parts of the entire house because it's so open. We're gonna turn this into a little magical outdoor theater with lights over the top and like a little outdoor sitting area. Haven't got to that yet, but this is gonna be probably where I'll spend most of my time. What about Philip? Oh yeah, that's our palm tree, Philip. Say hi, Philip. I was at this point where all of our friends were really friends that we had together. My family was in Australia, I was in America, and I had really a clean slate. What do I wanna do with my life? And that was both incredibly exciting and also really, really scary because I was on the other side of the world away from everything that I knew, my friends and my family, and I didn't know what I was going to do. So all I knew was what I like. And I thought I'm gonna just incorporate as many elements of what I like and what makes me happy into my life as possible. So I knew I loved the ocean, I knew I love new places. I know I love the heat. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna find and look at houses, incorporating all of those three things. So I looked in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I found an amazing house um, on the beach. And I think when things are just meant to happen, they do. It was a great place to really just settle for a little while and figure out what was my next move, what was my next step, and get to know myself again outside of that relationship. So first thing when you walk in, you have this amazing staircase, which is so beautiful. I'm gonna show you the downstairs first. This is where all the bedrooms are. First thing I wanna point out is our recording sign. Aika bought this for us because Hunter and I are notoriously loud, so whenever we have the recording sign on, we gotta zip it. So first thing when you walk downstairs is you have Hunter's and my, Hunter's? Hunter's, Hunter's in my bedroom. And it's a little bit of my office, a little bit of our bedroom. And the decor in here is really different to what I'm used to because I have always had very modern houses. So for this one, we went with black accent walls, very rustic, modern farmhouse tones. I spent a lot of time in Fort Lauderdale. It was nine months or so uh, by myself. I didn't really have any friends down there. I sold my horses. Um, I just had my house 
and a lot of time and Infinite Prosperity, the online business that I ran for the last eight years. And something interesting happened. It was almost like the universe wanted me to start over completely. All the ties to everything that I had once known kind of disintegrated. So we all work from home, which is amazing, but I really wanted to have my own little private space where I can kind of tune everyone else out and be in my own little vibe. So this is my little office that I've created in my room. Here I do any webinars, any recordings, anything that I need complete privacy for. Hunter's gonna laugh at me for pointing this out, but I am obsessed with this chair. This whole little corner is like a little art piece in itself. I never sit in it except for this photo, but I love it so much. In the morning, the sun comes in, it's beautiful. So during that period of time in Fort Lauderdale, uh, it became clear that Lewis, um, the co-owner of Infinite Prosperity, wanted to embark on a different route in his life. And it also became clear that I wasn't the best leader for that company anymore because trading the thing that did change my life in the beginning and did allow me to quit my job wasn't something that I was ultimately the most passionate about anymore. And I think a good leader wakes up every single day committed to their mission. And I wasn't the best leader for that company anymore. So through a series of events, um, we made the decision to step away from an incredibly successful company. And that was really, really challenging and hard because at 28 years old, I don't have all the answers. I learned them along the way and we did the best that we could, but there are certainly lessons that we learned throughout that process um, that were really, really tough. So not only was I in a new location with no one that I really knew, no real friends down there yet, I had left everything that I knew. I left the courses, I left my relationship, I left the company, and then I was truly a blank slate and I could create any kind of life that I wanted. And that was terrifying and amazing, but terrifying. So one thing about this room that I absolutely love is how open it is. It opens out onto our little patio, which we haven't quite yet decorated, but the weather in California is too amazing not to let in. So moving in with Hunter, I actually ended up bringing a lot of my furniture, but the one piece that he did bring was this little rustic ladder. So I stole it and put all of my accessories on it. And I share this because on the outside, on social media, all you saw was this house, which was incredible. And it all looked perfect, perfect, whatever perfect is nowadays. It all looked great, right? And I want to share that because that was actually an incredibly difficult period of my life. I pride myself in the fact that I handle things with grace a lot of the time and that I don't really get too overwhelmed or flustered with a lot of things that have gone on in my life. But at the same time, it was really, really challenging um, because I was redefining who I was in this world and what I wanted my life to become and I was doing it in large part by myself. Second floor is really just one big room which I love so much. Space is so inviting. This is probably one of my favorite pieces, the chandelier with my little favorite Prada sign. Everyone who knows me knows I've had this Prada sign in every house that I've lived at and I absolutely love it. So like I said, I've previously had a lot of modern houses so I did have to get rid of a lot of my existing furniture because it just didn't go in here. But the black uh, contrast, like the leather black contrast off this wood, I think looks amazing. So I got to keep my couch and a couple of my little black and white accessories in here. What I was essentially doing was leaving behind everything that was good and allowing more space for great. And now I'm at this place in my life where I have so much to be grateful for. And I want to share some of that with you in this video. Uh, but it didn't come without challenge. That's why I don't just want to show a house tour and show the amazingness and show where I am now in a incredibly loving and happy relationship, working on a company and building a company that's so lucky to be successful so early in a year where a lot of people are going through a lot of challenge. We all work from home, which is amazing, but we really wanted this to be a collaborative space. So we have all these little spaces set up, not only for us to work, but if friends come over, we have this big studio desk. So I think like two or three people can fit across here. And then on this side, we have what we call our Benjamin Franklin desk because it pulls out just like this and you can scoot a chair up and it makes me want to write a novel or something from here. It's very cute. So when we first moved in, we didn't really know what to put in this little space, but we did have this table, which was a completely different color. And we thought, fuck it, why not paint it, see what it looks like here. And it kind of turned into this little Gothic area, which kind of digging. And then you have the kitchen, which is one of my favorite places to be. A, because I love cooking, B, because I love eating what I cook. And I also love it because it's so unique. You have this mix of these really rustic, kind of old farmhouse looking cabinets with these really modern elements like this track lighting. And then of course you have this amazing balcony with this view of the ocean and our palm tree Philip. 
you can look down on the yard out here and then you look in the house and it's just so pretty and living with incredible friends around me and incredible people in my life and the connections that I have now like everything feels so genuinely incredible hello can you show us your room please oh yes this is where I live this uh, is the hole that he lives yes, in yes this is where I sleep Amy designed it all besides very few parts that I designed myself, like this lamp right here. Yeah. Are you I contain man of mystery? Man of mystery? Man of mystery. Uh, business consultant by day, musician by night, YouTube channel up in the corner. Uh, you, I'm not linking that. I, well, why not? I'm, all right, let's finish. <laughs> and I don't just want to share that and not share all the backstory and all the challenge that has also been a part of my life because life is balanced. Nothing is one-sided. To think that amazingness without challenge exists is an absolute fantasy. So I want to be balanced and show both sides as you see the amazingness that I am now so incredibly grateful to have in my life. So I want to take you guys to one of my favorite little spots in the neighborhood because the sun is setting and it's going to be beautiful. So one of the really interesting parts about this place is really the neighborhood that it's in. I love the house, but the neighborhood really makes it. And the cool thing is there's so many interesting people that live here. It's really uh, focused on entertainment industry, I guess you could say. And when we moved, the owner of the house kind of gave us context as to who else was in here and what they did. And they all have really, really cool positions. The cool thing about him is he actually produced The Secret. And being that that movie had such an impact on my life, I thought that was pretty full circle. So that being said, I want you to know this. If you are going through a difficult time in your life, and if you feel like maybe you're leaving behind things that were once really, really comfortable and once really familiar, know that although that might be really challenging and it might feel really hard in the moment, that period of challenge is going to help you grow into the person that you need to be to receive all the great things that are also waiting out there for you. You can't have great without periods of challenge as well. So embrace the challenge, learn from the challenge, understand that you will get to the other side of it. But when you're amongst it, it doesn't necessarily feel like that. It certainly didn't for me. Despite it looking amazing, it was really damn hot. I was really lonely at certain points and I was figuring things out and I was challenged and there was a lot of expectation and closing a company when you're 28, that's hard, you know? There's a lot of things that have been really, really challenging. But if you're, that's you and if you're in the middle of that, I want you to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, always. You just can't forget about it. I always knew that there was light at the end of the tunnel, even though I had no idea that I would end up here. And strangely enough, I ended up here because of a connection I made in a business mastermind group online. And we went to Hawaii together. I met Hunter, who I am madly in love with now. And through that, I met his best friend, Ike, who we live with now, who's incredible. And I met this whole amazing group of people that are now my friends and I've never felt more connected, more aligned, and more happy to be where I am. All right, we gotta get off-road for this bit. Got the drone, because you're gonna like to see it. So this is it. This place is so incredibly special. I seriously never thought that I would end up in Malibu of all places in the world, but this is the first place that I've been, and I've been very lucky to live in a lot of places where I can say it truly feels like home. Reason being is because I love nice places, sure, but I also love nature and I love the ocean and I love horses. And this place brings together all of the elements that I really truly enjoy into one absolutely magical place. I feel particularly lucky to be here in this beautifulness amongst a year where so many of us are trapped inside. Being able to get out, because this is in the neighborhood, is so amazing. And if you feel stuck, I can't encourage you enough to even just go for a walk and get out and see how beautiful the world truly is. It's really easy to think that everything is so heavy right now, but as soon as I walk outside and I see this, it reminds me that we're all living in a pretty incredible place. So I really hope that in sharing this story with you guys, it was A, a little bit different than the generic house tour videos that you see on YouTube, but it also gave you more of an accurate look into my life and what I've been dealing with, not just a picture of what's going on on the outside, because that is not an accurate representation of how someone actually feels. It's not an accurate representation of how happy someone is, what they're dealing with, and if they are successful or not. Unfortunately, social media paints that picture that the things that we have determine if we're successful. And to me, success is how we feel. And I am so incredibly grateful to be at a place where I can honestly say, 
I feel amazing. Um, and I'm really grateful for all of you for being on that journey with me. And I'm excited to share the future with you as well. So I hope that resonated. If it did, I would love for you to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.